Hey everybody, it's Kimberly from Curious Kimberly and it is Tuesday and I am bringing you a book review. Graham's new novel, Talking As Fast As I Can. So I said novel, I meant memoir. Her memoir came out last week. It came out on the 29th, which was five days after the Gilmore Girls revival came out on Netflix. So I timed it, I pre-ordered it, I was super excited. I had already had enough time to watch the revival and then to read the book, um, which has the subtitle of From Gilmore from Gilmore Girls to Gilmore Girls and everything in between. So let's get started with your review. First thing is I wanna talk just basically about celebrity memoirs. I love celebrity memoirs. If that could be a job where I just like need to read celebrity memoirs before they go out, like a celebrity memoir editor, that would be the dream. And usually they can be put into two buckets. You have like witty, funny stories that are kind of like all jumbled together, or you have like a, this is what my life was kind of like, and I went through something and this is, this is how I did it. And this is, you know, this is how I worked through it. And this one definitely falls under the first one. It's witty, funny stories from pre Gilmore Girls for Lauren Graham to the revival. Oh, that's rough. So that's just a little bit of kind of basis of what the story is about or what her memoir is about. The pros and the things that I really, really liked about this is you got to know Lauren Graham a lot better. I've watched a ton of interviews with her and I really enjoy just kind of her as a person and I've loved learning more about her. So it was great to hear some stories from from Gilmore Girls from the original series all the way to how she was feeling kind of during the revival and having read it so close after watching the revival that was ideal because I everything that she was talking about I already I was like I know that I remember watching that and it was so interesting to kind of see her ideas behind it and what she was thinking when she was going through those parts. I loved the witty anecdotes about being on set and what it was like to be on set for the revival because <laughs> she kind of explains like how the lot moved like it's not in the same place and you can get all these stories and interactions that they have with other people who are also acting on the same lot for different shows and that that type of in-depth stuff I really enjoy. You also get a lot of stories about her work on Parenthood which was a show that I loved. So that was a, you know, a bonus in there because you got to kind of know a little bit more about that. And the last thing is the writing is really, really well done. This is Lauren Graham's second book. She wrote a novel, Someday, Someday, Maybe. And you can tell that she's been writing before. Um, she has a very clear voice and the writing is just really elegant throughout the whole thing. So I really enjoyed that. A few things that I wish were different, I wouldn't say cons, but things that didn't get me as excited. Some parts of the memoir drug on a little bit too long, like the, the witty jokes were trying to go just a little bit too far. It just, it just kind of went on, it was repetitive in some places, which was unnecessary. And she speaks in the beginning, she writes in the beginning about how she's gonna give you some insider info. And I had watched a ton of interviews with her already about the revival or about other things. And a lot of the insider info that she said she was going to be revealing in the book, she'd already talked about on some talk shows with other things, other people. Um, so that was a little, I was like, oh, I already knew that. So those are the only thing I would definitely recommend reading Talking As Fast As I Can, especially if you're a Gilmore Girls fan. I think you really will enjoy it. It is a quick read. It's just over 200 pages. And like I said, the writing was so beautiful. It just flows right through. And the writing really is lovely to see. It makes me want to read her novel someday, someday maybe. Especially because she talks, whoa. <laughs> 
Especially because she talks about her process of writing the novel in the memoir as well. So that has made me want to read some of her other writing. So overall, again, I would really recommend this if you like Lauren Graham, if you like Parenthood, or if you love Gilmore Girls. And I would give it a four out of five stars. That's everything for me today. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you want to see more book videos or videos about my planning and passion planners and bullet journaling, anything like that, please hit the red subscribe button below so you can catch up on all of those things and not miss a video 